So, but uh, anyway, so mom and dad in Tulsa had six kids, and uh, they raised us in a uh, family of strong values and faith. And dad had a sense of humor. He took a two before and took it to the roundhouse and cut a grip on it and sanded the corners. <laughs> and uh, he paid it Board of Education on <laughs> And so that was uh, that that was hysteria. I never saw him use it. I guess it was that, you know, carry a big stick and but uh, but anyway, so um, all six of us put our own way through college and then various schools and uh, out of that out of the six kids you've got two law degrees, a PhD in civil engineering, an MBA and a master's in blood banking. And uh, I say that because that, that grew out of a family living on a machinist pay. When I was a senior in high school, they, you, know, you took those standardized tests and you had to put the category of your parents' income. And I didn't know what it was, so I you know, asked, and it was $16,000. And uh, so they raised a family of six kids and they never, we never had the promise that they would put us through college, but they sacrificed and put us through some uh, really good schools, some Catholic schools. And uh, in my opinion, pre-K through fourth grade is about where the fundamentals all happen. And uh, so anyway, um, met my wife at uh, Oklahoma State University, and she's from Buffalo. She's from Buffalo, Oklahoma, north of Woodward. She, uh, first time I went out to her house, I looked out the back window, this was during college, and one of her brothers was field dressing a deer hanging from the swing set. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I didn't even know what field dress meant. I never had <laughs> seen it, deer guts hanging out. <laughs> but, uh, and then I went to take a shower, and uh, the other brother had, had killed a couple coyotes, skinned them, and the pelts were drying in the clo in the shower, <laughs> so it was quite a quite a culture shock for me. You know, her dad was in the army, came back, couldn't get a job, enlisted in the air force, came back, went to work for the Oklahoma Wildlife Department. He uh, was a game biologist in the northwestern part of the state, and uh, an expert hunter and fisher, just loved the outdoors, and uh, so. <coughs> He, you know, he taught me how to hunt. The way he taught me how to hunt was we would go hunting and then he'd say, I got my limit, how many did you get? <laughs> <laughs> sort of a tough upbringing. But uh, I practiced law, went to the University of Tulsa College of Law, and then the Rotary sent Lucia and me to Germany and I tested into the German university and studied law there for a year. Then we came back and uh, I've been practicing in Tulsa, Oklahoma City and around the state for 40 years. Most of that in litigation because, it, you know, it's part street fight and part chess match mm -hmm. and that thrilled me the whole time. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a mediocre high school athlete. The only record that probably still stands uh, was the number of games I fouled out of. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so that gives you some insight into my personality. But, but um, I love, I've loved being the Attorney General. It's really, it's 200 employees, about 110 lawyers, uh, some law enforcement officers, some uh, analysts, and, and then uh, some administrators. And it's really incredible to be the, uh, the top lawyer in the law firm that represents the state. So when the legislature passes pro-life bills, for example, my office defends them when they're, when they're challenged. And uh, one of the greatest honors for me is that there's now a lawsuit named Planned Parenthood versus John O'Connor. <laughs> that sounds crazy for those who aren't pro-life, but for me it's a really big honor because that, again, think back to the fist fights and the, uh, so but in the first week actually I was in office I had the chance to join Oklahoma on with Mississippi to that pro-life bill that was argued recently and we're hoping to get a decision and it sounds crazy but you know since 1973 over 60 million Americans have not seen the light of day because of the Roe versus Wade decision and 
think about where we'd be today if those 60 million, if we had all that talent, all those great people here with us. Uh, so, but um, anyway, so first week in office, well, I'll tell you about as a law enforcement officer, I drive a, a vehicle that's a highway patrol unmarked vehicle. And uh, I've had the lights on three times. The first time was in my driveway to show my grandkids. <laughs> <laughs> and they were duly impressed. The second time I was following my wife in Tulsa at about 10 p.m. It was dark. And I was about three car lengths behind her just in a neighborhood. And I put the lights on and she didn't even pump her brakes. 